Tuck here from the Fun Music Company and today I want to share with you some simple activities to do on keyboard instruments with upper primary or elementary students. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, this is all very well if you happen to have a full set of keyboards on a keyboard lab in my school but you know I just don't. Well for this reason what I've got for you today is something that's pretty flexible and can pretty much be done on any keyboard instrument. Now you might have some full size keyboards like this or some little ones like these or even something like this. It really doesn't matter. However, for this set of activities it does need a fully chromatic keyboard instrument. So one with the white and the black keys is really appropriate for this. So what do you do when you're in a room with a bunch of keyboards and a class of kids? Well, you might have one or two in the room who can even play piano and you know they could have been playing for quite a few years even doing fifth grade or something like that and you might have some other children who've never touched a piano in their lives before so what do you do well to me the answer is learning a short riff pattern that anyone in the class could play and then you have a chance for improvisation later on which will give something for even the most experienced children to extend themselves now in our latest whiteboard module, we've got a whole set of these keyboard wraps. These are simple two bar riffs which repeat four times. And there's a section where the kids can improvise as well. At first, you can have everybody improvise en masse. Now it does sound a bit like chaos of course, but as long as you don't have the volume up too loud, it will be okay. Then the students can go ahead and take turns to improvise. You can give them two bars each or just one bar. And the track has the same pattern repeated a number of times. So it should be clear when to go back to the riff pattern each time. Now this first one we've provided below in this video is the very first in the series. They simply have to play the two black notes which are D flat and E flat together. Anyone can find the two black notes on a keyboard and play that simple rhythm in echo with the teacher. Then they go ahead and improvise using their G-flat pentatonic scale. Now of course, you don't go ahead and tell them it's the G-flat pentatonic scale. You say just let's go ahead and improvise on any of the black notes. And then there's a way for you to extend the more advanced kids. You can go and explain to them privately and then have those students add in extra notes as well. So if you're interested in a little bit more of this, check out our whiteboard music lessons module 3 which contains a full set of 14 of these keyboard wrap activities. As usual, please let me know how you get on and let us know if this activity was helpful for you in having something to do with that set of keyboards that you might just well have sitting in that back corner. Mm -hmm.